Welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we got a quick video for you. We're going to be messing around in the Madcat Mark II 1. Um, today's build is going to be two LB20s and four medium pulse lasers. The Madcat Mark II has some really nice hard points. Uh, the missile hard points, although we're not using missile weapons on this build, they are mounted really, really high. It makes it good for LRMs and ATMs if that's your thing. As far as the ballistic hard points go, they come in the arms on the Madcap Mark II. So we definitely have um, some decently mounted ballistic hard points there. Uh, almost evenly aligned with your cockpit. And the energy hard points go evenly spread under your mech, under your mech's cockpit there. So good hard points. Very, very tough clan mech. Very, very good clan mech. Um, I think everyone loves the Madcap Mark II. Uh, and this build is so simple, two LB-20s and four medium pulse lasers, that's what we're running. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's so easy, so easy and so much fun, and it's really, really good. Uh, two LB-20s, four medium pulse. Let's take a look at what we have. So we got a 90 tonner, and this, uh, this is the Dash 1 variant. The Dash 1 has two ballistic, four energy, and two missile hard points. Your energies go in those torsos there. You do also have missile hard points in their torsos as well, although we are not using any missiles on this uh, build. And your two ballistic hard points go in your arms. So running LB-20s is as simple as that. Your engine's not going to affect whether you can put LB-20s in it or not because they are not in your torsos. A lot of a lot of mechs and a lot of builds, you can't run um, XL engines or uh, light engines uh, because you won't be able to fit LB-20s or AC-20s, or whatever it is, um, but this doesn't matter. You have your ballistic hard points in your arms, so your engine doesn't affect your uh, ballistic weapons. So as I said, two LB-20s, four medium pulse. I've got four tons of LB-20 ammo. I am running a standard 335, so that gives me roughly 60 kph. Um, I got about four clan double heat sinks. I have ferro and endo steel as well. Armor points are looking good. I shaved off some of my legs, that's really about it. Now the only thing I could see here is going XL or dropping my standard. I think going XL may be a good idea in the future, but for right now my survivability is pretty damn good in this mech. The only downside to this right now is my heat management, and that's just because I have four medium pulse lasers. LB20s do rack up a little bit of heat, but it's basically as much as two medium lasers rack up. So that's it. It's so simple, very easy. Um, you're a tough mech, hard mech to bring down, and this thing uh, could be a game changer here. There's a lot of options with this mech, and this is just a very, very simple outline um, of this of this build. Very, very simple. There's a lot more you can do. As I said, you can drop your standard, go XL. With with the extra tonnage that you gain from going XL, you could throw in double heat sinks, missile weapons, whatever you want to use. Not going any missile weapons because. My heat management's already at a, a point. I don't I don't like getting my heat management below 1.25. I try not to get it below that at all. I honestly prefer it above 1.3, but this will have to do for right now. Other than that, the skills that this thing comes with, I really just focused on some firepower operations, um, mobility, and that's really it for right now. Um, I run all, all different types of builds on this variant, so my skill tree is always jumbled up and mixed up and stuff, and I always got to go back through it and look. Other than that, that's it. This is a monster build. It's it's badass, and it can really, really cause some damage. So let's go ahead and get to a match, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Go. All right, we are on Caustic Valley in the Mad Cat Mark II. Ooh. I've got two LB-20s and four medium pulse. This is gonna be hot. Woo, this is gonna be hot. Domination. I was gonna go XL. Um, was so close to going XL, and then I decided just to go with standard. So I got about 60 kph uh, top speed on this thing. Not bad. Not too bad. Looks like 
looks like D4 is going to be... The great thing about the Madcap Mark II is it's high hard points. Those ballistic hard points, gotta love them. Get out of there, Archer. Holy shit. Launching a UAV, and I'm gonna get out of that area because that's not a good place to be. That sun spider is. Move. Woo! The sun spider's down. Bravo. Let's keep moving here. Name of the game. It's the name of the game. Oh wow, we got a lot right here to our left here in turn around. Shit. Oh my god, really? These missiles gotta stop. Bravo. Take out Bravo. Mad Cat, Indigo. Alpha. All right, Alpha's down. Let's watch that Hellfire. Awesome is down. Hellfire is almost down as well. There he goes. I do have a miss links. Uh, Come on now. Watch your backside. Nice, sun spiders down. Woo! If he takes up my other leg, I was done for. I was close. Good match though. Nice match there. 25% health. I was down. If I was running an XL, I don't know. Nice. Yeah, one killing blow, 11 assists. We got four KMDDs and 705 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, 705 and 4 KMDDs, that really makes me happy, but the, and even on Caustic Valley, the, you know, the heat was containable. If I would have had some mi missile weapons on there, it would have been a different story, but um, not too shabby there. Definitely a good match. Close match too. We did have quite a few deaths on our team, but we pulled through there, and uh, that, that's, that Sun Spider coming up behind me there, that got kind of close kind of close for a second there. Um, if he would have taken out my other leg, if I wouldn't have had my teammates help me out with that, I might have been a gunner. But still a very, very fun build and very... and we did play on Caustic, so you gotta remember it's really hot. Other maps, this is gonna perform even better.